welcome to the Questionnaires Podcast, where each week we source the best questions from Yahoo Answers and attempt to provide the best advice from... Why do we only say, hey, stranger, to people we know? To... How do nudists clean their glasses? We're here to prove that every question deserves an answer. Joining with me this week, as always, is Marcus... Hello, Tom. ...and Damien... Hello. And Hello, I am Tom. Tom. Yes. yes, welcome to 2020, boys. Hello, thank you. Yes. How Pretty has good. your your break been? We've had a bit of time off. We have had yeah, a bit of time. We had a few weeks off. Collect our thoughts. Get through yeah. the, the silly season. Yeah, as it's the, silly, known. the silly season. Why is it known as a silly season? Uh, I think it's just because it's just like it's bonkers, dude. Yeah, it's bonkers. It's, bonkers. it's busy. The fat man comes down your chimney. Yeah, I mean, like, if, that, if that's <laughs> not silly, I don't know what is silly. <laughs> My season wasn't very silly. Was like, it? I, I did things, but I not that I didn't have fun. Nothing silly. But like the most exciting thing. For me, over my break, was that I bought a Venus flytrap plan. Whoa. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. We're at your house right now. I, would, I expect to see meet this Venus. Well, <laughs> I want to meet Venus. I can show you. What's its name? Uh, I haven't named it anything. You should, it's because Val. the living oh, thing. Val, 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 grab it which was pretty wait not- you, you fed it uh, it would have obviously been dead they, fly they catch things themselves yeah. but you, you can also feed them you give them a bit of love and I was like okay. yes my pretty eat, eat. How, do you ha- how often do you have to feed like is it like a you don't have to feed them but if you see them kind of start to like not look as healthy they might not be getting enough yeah. uh, protein you might not be diet. having a lot, another, enough flies in your house that's right yeah, yeah. I'm Go- ke- keeping too clean of a ship yeah I'm do really worried that outdoors are- or indoors uh, indoors on the window so they need sun yeah. and here was my mistake okay because uh, every they're very high maintenance flowers. Um, and if, I don't know. If they, I don't. No, plant. Sorry. Um, anyway, <laughs> don't insult the community. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. They're gonna feed me to a Venus flytrap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, That's punishment. But so you have to water them with distilled water, uh, and you also oh, far, they right? don't get bur- buried in traditional soil. You have to. It's like a mix of sand and peat moss. Okay. Which is like a mix two together. So it's, it's a hassle, right? Okay. But I've always wanted one, so I was like, stuff it. Sure. This is where I stuffed up because yeah. one of the other things I read was that they need a lot of sun. So I put that bad boy out in the sun, roasted it, catch some rays. <laughs> yeah, and I did that. I did that little like, silver thing around. Yeah. You didn't turn any SPF fifty or anything I like that. I did the did Homer you? Simpson thing, where like, do you know when he puts gives Pinchy a bath? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, and right, leaves right. his lobster in the bath for What's too long. long? Yeah. yeah, I came back and. It was roasted to a crisp. Was Ooh. it? Yes. You don't mean to keep it in direct sunlight, it is that right? For two, it got sunburned hard. What was that screaming noise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damien, help me! Thankfully, uh, I, I kept watering it and there's been some green growth from under the death. Oh, so it, it, it lives. The... Wow. It's okay. Guys, at the risk of um, killing Don Burke's boner right yeah. now, <laughs> this is not a fucking plant podcast. But I, mean, I know you say I'm the old one, but goddamn, I've never brought in a story about how I bought a plant. Well, yeah. I said you wasn't very exciting. <laughs> well, it's not exciting. It's did definitely you, not exciting. Did you I'm guys actually, get up to anything I'm exciting actually, I'm actually break? very curious about that plant. But anyway. Marcus, let's talk about your break, because I think we really need to like rinse this out. Yeah. Wow. What's been going on with you? So, the one thing happened right at the start of the break, which is quite... Huge, monumental, monumental. Yep. Everything, everything else after that doesn't really compare. I'll be, and you'll hear why. Obviously, I got engaged. Da, 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 yes, da, da, I, I joined the engaged crew. Well, that's on this podcast. You're not engaged, time. You were married. But oh, this isn't a marriage podcast, Marcus. Yeah. So let's move hey, on. You had all this three minutes talking about a plan. Give this guy the same. All right. Yeah, all right. Congratulations. I mean, he planted the seed of love. <laughs> there we go. Years yeah. ago, and now it's grown into a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful flower. Venus fly, fly trap. Yeah, 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 congratulations. Yeah, thank it's you. fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, it, it was a great news. It was a great time. It was nerve wracking as yeah, fuck. Yeah. Um, the plan sort of back, not backfired. I won't say backfired. It didn't, almost didn't go to head. You have to an plan. idea in your head, and then things you got to you got to roll with the punches. Yeah, roll with the punches. punches. And yeah. so the, I'm not going to go how the, how the proposal actually went. But all you I punched can say it, is, didn't you? You yeah. rolled the punches. <laughs> rolled <laughs> the punches. <laughs> punched her out with the ring. The one two. When she came to, it was on her hand. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, right. you said yes. yes. Can't be mad at me. Yeah, and um. No, nah, what would you, it, I had to roll the punches. So a few little, a few little hiccups along the way, but yep. she said yes. It was great. It's fantastic um, news. But I got a little like I messaged you guys. So you guys already knew. Like yeah. this, true. this is not news to you. It's true. Um, I text messaged. Now I got a little story about this because yep. uh, I text messaged Tom. Oh yeah. I text messaged him saying, "Hey, I, I got engaged." Is that? And he replied, replied saying, "Congratulations, it's great news." All the rest of it. Mm-hmm. Two weeks later, <laughs> I get was, another yeah. text message. <laughs> it's about two weeks later, another text message, which was just simply said. Tom loved, and it was my previous text message. Okay, now let me take over now. Yes. Because this is where we're going to hear my side of the story. Okay. Yeah. So I just get a message from Marcus yeah. two weeks later, yeah. all right, after the last thing I said to him was just like... Congratulations, I said, he, he goes, yeah, blah, 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 see you soon. And then he goes, well, yeah, look, there was a lot of nerves um, to get it 
done and all done well. Massive sigh of relief and excitement. That came out of nowhere. And I yeah. just left it. I'm just like, what the fuck is that? I went that? back to him. I said, I just read this message. Might not be meant for me. He goes, well, nah, it was. You said you loved one of my messages. Yeah. You take over now, Marcus. Yeah. So I said, I'll show you, Damien. But all it says is loved in brackets and it's my text so message. Yeah. quoted his message. Said quoted I message. loved it. Two yeah. weeks later, it's yeah. like, I read over it and go, fuck, that was a beautiful message. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love it. I was like, all he wrote was okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that was weird. So I got a message out of the blue. He probably thought it was weird. I thought it was weird. And then what I, it was. And then I messaged him like, I reckon you're... Your baby daughter has got to your phone again. Your oh, Apple iWatch phone okay. again, so which is known to do. Sometimes if I'm holding her, she'll like start tapping her away. Yeah. And she liked Marcus. She hearted Marcus's she loved, message. She loved the the kids these days are getting into texting. She's so just much swiping like crazy. So, yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, I've got all these Tinder dates lined up as well. Now <laughs> yeah. of her, so that was a very funny thing. That was a funny. We were both happened. confused, but either way, it was a great time. All of the story is well. Con- I mean, yes, yes. I love that story. Yeah, you that's so. it. But thank you, Damien. <laughs> okay, great. I got, on your break. Ah, yeah, my break was fine. Twenty twenty is going well. You know, yeah. I'll give you an idea of how my twenty twenty is going. Yeah. I had a shower before. I washed my body with shampoo because I had no body wash. <laughs> it's about the most exciting thing that's God happened damn. in my life. Tom, right honestly, I've just ended right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's a wrap on twenty twenty for Tom. That's all that we've got going on. Let's jump into the show, which is yeah. probably why you're here to listen. I'm assuming um, yep. the way the show works is we choose uh, questions from the website Yahoo Answers. We try to provide some advice to people. Yep. And help them on their way and get them through their life, get them through their dilemmas. Yes. The other thing that we do each and every week to name the question askers is we choose a theme to keep them anonymous. Yes. And my theme this week, isn't it? Yes. Is my theme this week. And I figured because it is sort of award season and I am a bit of a movie guy. Yeah. I've been self self Movie awards sis- season. Movie awards system. Uh, season. Season. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fuck me up, Marcus. <laughs> so it is movie <laughs> award season. So I thought we could name the question askers after... Maybe a movie that you liked in 2019. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something that you enjoyed. Something like that. I like this. I like this. Is that okay, Marcus? Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go first. Yeah. Okay. Let me hear what you got. So the movie. First the, question, the, question of the year. The no first pressure. question of the year. Yeah, no, no, no pressure. pressure. Now, there's two movies I really, really liked. And I said one before and you you just poo-pooed it before, Damien. So I'm going to go with the other one, which was but Once no, Upon a Time but in if Hollywood. If you like oh a movie, God. that shouldn't matter what I think about yeah, it. Hurt what my was feelings. it, Marcus? You, you, I like Knives Out. You're, you like Knives Out? Okay, okay. But no, I'm going with the other one that I really, really liked. Which is? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, okay, cool. Well, now Once I feel bad because I like diminished <laughs> how you feel about something that you enjoyed. No, so. no, it's all right. I still like Knives Out. I, I stand by it, but Once Upon a Time in Hollywood writes okay. in. Go. Let's call him Hollywood for short. Hollywood for short. My boyfriend asks for gifts. My boyfriend and I have been together for 11 months and I feel like I really love him. Recently, he's been questioning when I will start to give him expensive gifts. He gave me flowers and chocolate strawberries one month later for my birthday. He also gave me a giant teddy bear. Last week, he asked me to pick something out and bought me a watch for $250. Now, he keeps posting pictures of expensive shirts, clothes that he wants on my Facebook wall saying that I should get him these for his birthday, which is in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. He keeps reminding me that he bought the watch. I don't understand. I know it sounds sexist, but isn't the man in the relationship supposed to shower the girl with gifts and love? I'm more than happy to get him something for his birthday, but him pushing this on me is making me feel uncomfortable and stressing me the fuck out. Damn. Okay. Hollywood. First off, yes. what kind of psychopath still makes posts on people's Facebook walls? Yeah, I know. Yeah, right, right. I What's, feel like the Facebook ooh. wall is purely just the birthday wall it's now. It's basically the birthday it's wall. Pretty much, Even then, I think I got two birthday like Facebook posts from last year. Recently? I'm ready to like delete my Facebook Facebook, you've done it? you had enough of Facebook? from like my mum and my auntie. Did it yeah. make you feel like shit? Uh, no, it didn't actually. Okay, that's I, good. <laughs> you guys are like, don't forget to <laughs> say happy birthday. Yeah. No, because oh, I, I, yeah. I, I, I get messages with yeah. people that actually care about you. I feel like the people that would write Right on the Facebook wall, just the people the that peripheral people or oh, your parents, your mum's not peripheral, but she would have said just say, yeah, person. either the, the, the middle age and over, yeah, or the ants in your life yeah. that mean nothing, yeah, that just <laughs> crawl under your feet. You step on the, the, the ants in your life, yeah. I was just about to say, I get a lot of birth, not a lot of birthday messages, but I get birthday messages from people, and I'm like, I haven't spoken to you in years, all right, and no, you skip birthdays. There's no need to flex because our birthdays are around the same time, right? <laughs> wait, hang on, so while I don't get messages, I know that Marcus two days later is like having the time of his life. Wait, yeah. Marcus mentioned something there where he said they skip birthdays. Do you yeah. do the thing when someone wishes you a happy birthday? Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's weird to that person. Not weird, but like, oh, yeah. I didn't expect that. Do you click see friendship to see like, 
the last time they wish you happy birthday. And then, yeah. like, you'll go through it's like, okay, 2017, they wish you happy birthday. But in 2018, they, they did, did it. What happened? In 2019, they were back on me. Yeah. So, so what happened in 2018? Give a fuck about me. Yeah. About I don't know. Well, if it's anything like me, I delete the Facebook app so I don't know anybody's birthdays. I have to go onto Facebook, the actual website. Oh, it's this person's birthday. Oh, it was yesterday. Well, I'm not going to yeah. wish them a happy birthday no, yesterday. Right, right. Fuck that. I have a blanket rule just don't wish anyone a happy birthday. Yeah, I think, I, I think, <laughs> don't wish anyone a happy birthday. And then it's just like, that's just not what I do. And then, and then they'll be like, no, nah, Tom Hanks. That can't be your thing. No, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. thing. Hang on. And it's then he wonders why. And then he hey. wonders why he doesn't get his birthday message. Well, now it makes perfect sense. <laughs> makes perfect sense. And only yeah. his mum wishes him happy yeah, birthday. Yeah. Well, if you, if that you, can't you, be your. That's not a thing. It's not really. It's really it's not your thing. Okay, whatever. I don't, I don't wish people happy birthday. It's not my thing. It's just like, hey, there's Tom. I know he doesn't wish me happy birthday. He's owning it too much. I don't wish him happy birthday. Tom's flexing. It's not like like, oh, that's Tom. He wears white t shirts. That's his thing. It's like it's a thing thing. Tom doesn't wish people happy birthday on Facebook. Yeah. I like long walks on the beach and not wish yeah. people happy when birthday. When I'm on an MTV dating show, that's not one of the bullet points that come up in my life. Yeah. When I'm on Next. <laughs> and for some As reason, they Next me straight away. Yeah. They Next me straight away. And I don't even celebrate Christmas because that's Jesus' birthday. <laughs> what fuck that guy. <laughs> I don't even say happy birthday to Jesus. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so this person particularly, yeah. let's forget about the let's Facebook. Let's forget about the Facebook. So she's yeah. worried. Hollywood is worried about yeah. the fact that he is asking for expensive gifts. He's asking for expensive, and she gifts. doesn't think it's the uh, uh, woman's it's her job. role to buy these gifts. And not only that, I think I think she's more. She doesn't think it's her role in the relationship, which I think, it's whatever. A, yeah. But I think her perception I, is wrong. I, I, but to I also, uh, but I also think she goes. I would happily buy him the gift. If you didn't ask for it. Oh, okay. So it's not even about the fact that... So, so not, it's, it's not that she doesn't things. want to give it to him. Yeah. She's just like, well, I don't want to give it to him because he asked. He asked for it. Like, if, the if, if, if he like sort of hinted like, and I mean absolutely hinted like, oh, this, is nice. this watch is really nice. And then she's like, oh, I'll buy it for him. Yeah, but sometimes that. people don't pick up on hints, actually. True. Sometimes you've got to be like pretty obvious Blunt. if you want something. Why do True. you think he's posting it on Facebook? Do you think he's kind of... Doing it intentionally so other people see it, and then they might even Possibly, bring it like, up to her. Yeah, or I, reckon, I reckon it's like a public shaming. It, wouldn't you feel like that's a public shaming? Maybe of what you? he should really be doing, yeah, is like doing like an Amazon wish list. Yeah, and just being like, just throughout the year, add things to your Amazon wish list. Yeah, like it's like a porn star, or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then be like, Wait, do you want to explain that comment for some people who have no idea what you're talking about? <laughs> apparently, what happens? It's not apparently. I've seen lists. <laughs> yeah. it happens. Porn stars will do like a Amazon wish list where they'll put things on their wish list, and yeah. they'll be basically be like if you like me and you like my stuff yeah being my body yeah. um you can support me by buying things off my amazon they wish list re- they really do that they make it yeah. publicly available so the fans will just go like the, they'll provide a link fans will click on it and just like okay oh she needs a blender so like, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys i bought pamela anderson a fucking blender and, but that's she's not a porn star i'm just saying I'm I'm not not porn star hypothetically names. hypothetically it's legitimately that yeah. like, i was a curious blender, about it yeah. as well i'm like I, I wonder what they asked for and it is the most mundane shit is it honestly <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I guess Amazon don't sell like I guess even even if they did sell sex stuff, like she would have the she, uh, she's she got sponsorships. She, she would have she's the probably premium, sponsored premium, by you know what she doesn't have a sponsorship for? She doesn't have a sponsorship for Sunbeam. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How's she gonna get a chapel maker? <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point. She wants to make a oh, toasty. Rebel is not sponsoring I'm, somebody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create an Amazon wish list and just give it to the fans and say, please, <laughs> yeah. I need a Breville. The, 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 the real reason, Marcus, is you should have picked up on this. It's not yeah. tax deductible. It's yes. a gift, Marcus. Yes. I don't need to give 10 percent of my blender to the tax man. <laughs> that's right. I'm pretty uh, sure that's how it works. No, it doesn't. Okay, <laughs> not, cool. not in Australia anyway. Okay, so maybe that's my, my idea is maybe do a wish list instead. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing at... Like, you were making a joke about the blender, right? <laughs> right. And Marcus's face went from laughing, but as soon as he realised about accounting... <laughs> The, the laughter the, drained from your face. <laughs> like, you're wrong. And you were just the, like, not in it's Australia. The, it's the, <laughs> that's it. Like, the you tax just came the out. Tax man came out. It's the almost like you hesitated to say it because you're just like, legally, I can't give advice. <laughs> <laughs> That was so, for the tax man uh, cometh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tax man cometh and the tax man taketh away. Oh, sorry. Take, Ma- Marcus, taketh away your tax deduct- deductions. Marcus's yeah. work life, like the look on his face, that's the, <laughs> that's the face he has at his desk every you day. You have to give, you have to keep people stern looks and tax, man. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fair enough. funny business. Nobody likes tax. So, wish list is my guide. And then you could just say, check out my wish list. Maybe I, you'll find something. I think that. that doesn't feel, that feels too impersonal, I think, for your part to give us your partner. Yeah. I'm saying they should know. I, the, even the Facebook list is too impersonal to okay. like 
I like you. Can't, you don't comment on your partner's wall yeah. when you want to have a conversation to them about something. I, I think, don't think. I think the dude's completely in the wrong on all accounts. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't post on the wall and don't demand so a present. So posting like Hugo Boss shirts. Yeah, yeah right. Wow, these shirts, man. And so good. she's also wrong in thinking that gift giving in a relationship is a one way street. Yeah, right. no, 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 it should go both it's, ways. It's ways. But I will, I'm happy to put that aside because. That's not the That's crux the of the issue yeah, that nah. we're dealing with anyway. Right, okay. But some kind of list is, I think, is okay. I think it's Maybe acceptable. Maybe not an Amazon list, though. It's a bit too... Why is it not of it?